Hello YouTube and welcome to a new tax laws video. Fresh out of the United States of America, I finally find the time to unbox the brand new Google Nexus 5X smartphone. And as you can see, I still got my old Nexus 5 device here, which is for me still of one, one of the best smartphones in the recent years. So, but now I got the Nexus 5. Check out the box. We don't get much information. Uh, you can see it's a carbon, it's a black version, 32 gigabytes. So the big giga version, there's a smaller 16 gigabyte version and not much information on the box not even on the back side you can see it's from LG again the Nexus 5 was also LG, LG phone the Nexus 6 uh, is a, was a Motorola device it's a brand new 6P it's a Huawei device so let's open the X up and as you can see there we got a little beach here this looks like maybe Miami but what's on the box we got the X you can feel the X button nothing on the box shake it shake it good shake it off and there we go so first of all we got uh, again a nexus logo and we got our starter guide on the back side so where the buttons power volume nfc fingerprint how to charge the device and there we got something new it's the first device with usb c uh, so first of all put uh, plug the phone in press the on off button one two three oh this is nice a lot of people when they first time start their device they don't push or uh, press the on off button long enough and then insert your sim card nano sim card no dual sim no micro sd card and there we go and the first thing that i can see <laughs> we got a black phone and white cables oh man oh, first impression nice slide yes uh where do we start let's start with the usb-c cable yes the usb-c cable first thing of its kind with the nexus device and we see usb-c on one end and USB-C on another end. So there starts a problem because you don't get an adapter and how do you plug in the phone with your PC? You can't, you need a USB to USB-C adapter. And But the thing that bothers me more is a black phone white cable. I mean, why? This is not Apple, this is Google or LG. Then we got our charger and this is the first USB charger. Again, it's not normal USB port, it's USB-C we got here. And now unwrap the charger and uh, there we go. And this is the charger I will definitely have to use because I got until now, I still got no other USB-C devices. I still got my, One, uh, my OnePlus 2, which also got USB-C. Uh, but LG logo on the charger and the output is 5 volt 3 ampere so there is enough power for quick charging and yes the Nexus 5X supports quick charge uh, what else we got 30 uh, no, 90 days free Google Play Music streaming uh, with the Nexus device okay this is nice and what else is in the box we got our micro sim card tool and we got in here, we got, I guess this is not such, no, this is just a warranty guide. So no stickers and that's it. Nothing more in the box. The box is empty. So next step, let's grab the Nexus 5X, which is definitely bigger than the old Nexus 5. Uh, it's on the other hand, on the other side, it's uh, smaller than the Nexus 6 because the Nexus 6 was a 6 inch device and now we are back to the Nexus 5, which is not really a 5 inch device, it's a, it's a 5.2 inch device and whoa, this is huge, this is big, definitely way bigger than the old Nexus 5 here for a concise comparison. The new Nexus X is definitely bigger than the old one. And the old one was, I was not, don't want to say tiny, but it was definitely a one hand device. And now the new Nexus, uh, first impression, it really feels more like a 5.5 inch device than a five inch device. Okay, it's got 5.2, but still it's, it's big. It's big, definitely. And as you can see, let's go around the device. Oh, first impression, uh, how does it feel in your hand? It's okay, it's plastically. The old Nexus 5 was, was more of a rubbery. It feels definitely more like rubber. Of course, it's polycarbonate, but this year is more smooth. It's more slippery. It's not softer, but this one definitely feels more like plastic. 
Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. I would, first impression, I prefer the rubbery feeling of the Nexus, of the old Nexus 5. But still, uh, we will find this out. We got the LG logo, we got Nexus here, no 5. We got our fingerprint sensor here. This is a new brand, great, sh shiny new thing. Uh, we got our 13 megapixel or 12 megapixel or I, it's a 12.3 megapixel camera. It's standing out, yes, but the lens is surrounded by a half a millimeter uh, frame here. So the lens should be protected. We got our LED flash and I get, we got this laser autofocus thingy here next to it. Uh, the camera does record 4K videos, but I guess there's no optical audio uh, videos uh, or pictures uh, stabilization. And and because the camera stands out, yes, the device will shake if you type on it. If you go down, it gets more stable, but still, it's even down here, it's shaky. And if you go up, yes, you can shake the device because it's not laying flat on your desk. So, let's see, left side, we got the volume buttons, yes, which I can reach without problems. We got the on-off button, which I guess, uh, yes, I still can reach the on-off button without problems. This is nice. On top we got a microphone. I guess the whole device got uh, a total number of three microphones. On the left side we got our nano SIM card opening here. On top we got the second microphone, headphone jack and we got USB-C. And USB-C who thinks now USB-C is so tiny. No, it's not. Compare this to the micro USB port on the old Nexus 5 beneath the Nexus 5X. The micro USB port is way tinier than the new USB-C port here. On front we got one speaker, we got a second speaker, but we, uh, of course we got just one speaker to here. This is a telephone speaker and I'm not sure where the sound will come out, I, but I guess down here next to the third microphone we got the speaker and there's a lot of space lost between the frame, the outer frame and the start, the beginning of the display. And we don't got stereo speakers here. We got a five megapixel front facing camera and that's it. So this is everything that was in the box. This is first impression of the device. Yes, it's okay, but I assume for a 5.2 inch device, it's a lot, I think it's a little bit too big. And they could have, they should have made the smaller and the material a little bit rubbery, but overall build quality is fine or first impression is fine. But on the other side, uh, here in Germany, the device starts for 480 euros. This is around 500 bucks for the 16 gigabyte version, around uh, 530 euros, 550 US dollars for the 32 gigabyte version. This is a lot of money and I'm really looking forward and finding out for the next uh, weeks and days uh, how the device will perform. So, so this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!